So what are the guardians protecting? What can we unlock when we do our inner work to help the guardians to relax? I've mapped out a few things. Everyone will have their own lists and there are many things I could have put here that I didn't. But the basic feature is the emotional core. We unlock access to our emotions and that gives us more information that helps us to relate with others. And so the emotional core is the source of basically everything else you see here. Self-resonance, the ability to disconnect from guardians. Self-resonance is the feeling of being deeply connected and dropped into the whole system. And we can see all of our guardians, but we're not seeing through their eyes. We're in a place of systemic witnessing. So we have a sense of being above the struggle, but still able to use the different guardians in their different roles. Self-regulation is simply that our sympathetic and parasympathetic systems are connected and helping to bring us to homeostasis. So after a threat leaves the environment, we come back to regulation and we don't stay stuck on or stuck off. We've reconnected the circuits and we're now regulating ourselves. Self-care the protectors, as they take on more mature roles, they start to support the vulnerable aspects and they become our self-care, self-gratitude, self-love, and we're able to receive our own care and we're able to really take in and internalize safety and protection and nourishment. Authenticity, as we go below the guardians, we find out more and more what we actually feel and think about things. And so more and more we can become who we really are. Authenticity is something we can't do without access below the guardians. Guardians never quite feel authentic until they've been fully accepted. And then even guardian functions can start to feel authentic. Vitality affects, you can think of these as micro attunements in relating the ways that we sense each other's aliveness and how responsive we are to each other. You can think of this as well as presence and our ability to have intimacy and to really express our aliveness. In a child, this work helps us to get in touch with the young, vulnerable aspects of ourselves, where play is, where joy is. And that's a big feature of the work. The reason to be doing the work is to get more joy, get more playfulness in your life. In a guru, as you tune into your system more and more, you start to receive your own wisdom and your own guidance from your system. And people have different ways of thinking about that. They might concretize it into having an actual guru, an actual person that they resonate with, or they might tune into their own aspect of it. They might use ancestral language to describe this guidance system, or you might talk about them as guides. So this inner guru aspect is something that we get more and more access to as we drop below the guardians. Creative genius, as you drop into more and more of your nervous system, things start to flow and creativity just starts to work better and better. And you might have had this feeling when you come back from a retreat or from yoga, your mind is flowing and coming up with things that you wouldn't normally think of. And there's an unlocking that happens and your creativity is boosted and uh, all kinds of possibilities emerge that were not there before. Artists often think that they need the anxiety in order to create, which is creating in a disconnected place, which is one kind of creativity and is a great way to burn out. But being more connected to your nervous system allows for a much deeper, more resonant version of creativity that is based on the foundation of your actual body, feels safe, doesn't deplete your energy, and is ultimately more creative and can go for longer. Creativity needs time and being embodied really supports it. And lastly, spirituality. Each person will have their own language for this. It might be connection to the universe or connection to your own essence, or you might believe in a particular religion or have your own language system. But as you embody more and more, you can connect to the spiritual plane more and more. And so that's something that deepens as you do this work.